Hi everybody. So, um, we're gonna do another director's perspective kind of react video. Um, what I've chosen to do next is something that I actually worked on in college as a script analysis project. Um, this is a scene from The Humans by Stephen Karam. I did a whole deep analysis of this play from the dialogue, the structure of the plot, and all the character analysis, everything you could possibly think of. So we're gonna watch a scene from the show. Um, this is basically a family gets together for dinner. I believe it is Thanksgiving, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, and it's the typical mother, father, two sisters, and one of the sisters brings her boyfriend to dinner, all very conflicting personalities, and it's basically all you could ever ask for in a family dinner, and more. A great thing to immediately notice about this is the dialogue is written in such a way um, to be hyper-realistic, and I think we'll see in the way this plays out, the direction, the staging is focused on realism as opposed to presentational theater. <laughs> Immediately, let's notice where the realism comes in. Very, very rarely are you going to see anybody putting their back to the audience. And if you do it, if you stage it that way, there has to be a lot of purpose and you have to make up for it in a lot of different ways, like bigger gesturing or creating reasons to turn around that are natural and making sure that the main focus is scenes. Watch how they deal with this kind of full 360 image from um, a proscenium theater. Okay, so the sister that just spoke, you can see that she's a little bit turned out to the audience, um, but you can reason it away that she's just trying to face her sister's boyfriend and speak to him and probably turning herself a little bit shield up to whatever her dad is saying because she knows it's not going to be anything she agrees with. And this whole rhythm of how this dialogue works, as cool as it already is and the tools that the writer has given you with a scene like this and a play like this, you still have to work the patterning, the rhythm. So it's not just everyone talking on top of each other, because if you've ever sat at an actual dinner table, you get distracted by what someone else is saying, you don't hear what you're supposed to be hearing. So this is all about making sure that the right lines are being heard at the right times and still maintaining that realistic energy of people talking over each other in normal, everyday dialogue. This was a great turnout you just saw from the other sister. And it's like, if you really look at that moment, no one ever turns all the way that way to look at something over there. They just go like this. But we can't do that if we need you to be seen by the audience. We have to open her up somehow. So this is her opening up to the audience. Whereas if she just went like that, especially with the overlapping dialogue, she would probably get cut off and you would barely even hear anything she said. And let's look at this table too. There's a very specific reason everybody's sitting at the place that they are. I would like to see the rest of the show to see how people play musical chairs or how much they stay in this position for the show, which I very much doubt they all stay like this because for this scene specifically, I can see why they're in this positioning. The dad is in a very um, dominant top of the triangle kind of staging. 
and he happens to have the most to say in this scene. It's mostly people commenting back on whatever he puts out. Um, the mother is kind of floating in the middle of everything and just once in a while pipes up, giving into that very natural comedy of it. And even you can see the boyfriend's kind, kind of like off to the side in the angling of this, which is very interesting because he's not in the main family circle. Don't criticize me for caring about my mental health. Okay. What about Rich's mom is the therapist or whatever? Yeah. Why did you get him from the Yeah, that. Ooh, and we have a nice little use of levels. Um, the positioning of the sister standing up just keeps, I feel like it keeps the energy up of the scene itself, um, having some bit of movement from everybody. And I'll get therapy from my mother. Let's back that up for a little bit of comedic timing, just on that last part. And I'll get therapy from my mother-in-law. That's an awesome idea. Like your mother-in-law loves to get married. And those are the little quips that you want to keep the mother at the center of the scene for. And notice the energy of that beat. Well, I'll get it from my mother-in-law then. Space. She's not your mother-in-law and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, oh, you think this is going to fizzle out? And then, well, we're going to put one more thing in there. Here the video ends and the work begins. Let's support each other.